Welcome back to the player 2, master of Swindler's drama. After Hori was caught by Prosecutor Kwok, he couldn't move. Prosecutor Kwok asked why Hori returned to Korea. He didn't expect to meet him here and was happy to skip the intermediary and go straight to the final boss, Hori. Then Prosecutor Inkyu comes because he is the middleman. He told Hori to go and Hori left them. Prosecutor Inkyu talks to Prosecutor Kwok. Prosecutor Kwok is still curious about why Hori met Prosecutor Inkyu. Prosecutor Inkyu explained that once he knew the full story, Prosecutor Kwok would be in a difficult position. It turns out that Hori left his cell phone to give to Prosecutor Kwok. He didn't know how Prosecutor Kwok appeared on Hari's radar. It seems like he wants to show the end of the rope and Prosecutor Kwok will end up like Prosecutor Q. But Prosecutor Kwok has no intention of working with these lawbreakers. And Prosecutor Q insists that there are people more to be feared than lawbreakers. That is people who are still free on the streets, even though they are breaking the law. As long as there are such people, the law will not be able to protect everyone. KU Entertainment has job openings for its talent development team. Sumin offers the team who wants to apply for the job. Because it was their chance to infiltrate the agency. Then JEE volunteered herself. And she was accepted and started working at the agency. JEE immediately carried out her mission. During break time, she didn't take a break. She was busy sending data and installing listening devices in the office. She even took CEO Kim's fingerprints so she could access the CEO's laptop. Mr. Huang meets his acquaintance council member Yung. He needed help with something from her. Then, member Yung meets with CEO Kim. While they were chatting, Hori suddenly passed in front of them. Mrs. Yung called him Eddie Yung. Hori pretends to be close to Mrs. Yung and changed his name to Eddie Yung. Then Hori gave his business card to CEO Kim. It turns out that CEO Kim is curious about Adi Yung. Mrs. Yung explained that Adi Yung was doing other things secretly as a broker. And there are rumors that he distributes drugs. He is a dangerous man. As far as Mrs. Yung, he is the most successful in the world recently. It was Hori and his team's ploy to attract CEO Kim's attention so that he is interested in collaborating in the drug business with Eddie Yung. And then Prosecutor Kwok will arrest and clean up CEO Kim's drug gang. Uh, uh. The next day, CEO Kim invited Hori to meet. He immediately invited Hori to collaborate. He had heard that Eddie Yung was doing a fun business. Hori pretended not to know what CEO Kim was talking about. But CEO Kim openly wants to do business with Eddie Yung. Then Hori invited him to speak elsewhere. Hori pushed CEO Kim down, the fire escaped because he was being careless. Hori was angry that he spoke so openly in this day and age. And Hori is a bit of a hard sell, he doesn't plan on working with a failed man like CEO Kim. That made CEO Kim regret and apologize to Hori. He will be careful and beg Hori to work with him. <laughs> when JEE was cleaning the eavesdroppers at the agency office, suddenly Mr. Ju comes and sees JEE. He was confused because it was already past office time. It turns out that previously Mr. Ju finds a bug in the office. Then he invited JEE to pick up the students. He informed that their agency asked the trainees to serve VIP guests. And they had to obey and remain silent because the CEO had a video recording of them. And with that video, the CEO can control them. 
Then J.E. asked Mr. Ju, where is the video saved? And it turns out it was kept in C.O. Kim's safe. Yes. Hori invited C.O. Kim to Eddie Yoon's house. He was amazed when he saw the computer run by AI to run Eddie Yoon's business. When he entered Eddie Yoon's room, C.O. Kim saw a pile of money on his desk. It was money from their drug sales. Hori asked how much can the CEO bring this time. Then the CEO ensures that they work together. And Hori asked the CEO to prepare 70 billion. Hearing that, the CEO was shocked at first, but then he agreed. He will prepare the money. Then Hori wanted to check the product himself. Hori reasoned that he wanted to sell high quality products so that his customers would be satisfied. So he had to take care of everything from start to finish. And Hori asked the CEO to tell him the location and date because he had to make a schedule. JEE asked Spiderman for help to break into the CEO's safe so that the students' videos can be deleted. He won't break into the safe but will damage it using an electromagnetic blast or EMP. It will destroy everything on the machine. JEE doesn't care what method he uses, the important thing is not to make a fuss. Bioman enters the company using JEE's ID card. Finally, Bioman entered the CEO's office. When he tried to blow up the safe, suddenly security came. Then the EMP worked and turned off all the electricity in the company. Even laptops and cell phones also died. JEE panicked and entered the company. And Bioman was caught by security and tried to escape. When he was cornered in a room, JEE suddenly came and grabbed Bioman's hair. JEE said that Bioman was a fan of an artist at the agency and stole her ID card. Then JEE pushed Bioman out of the building. Hori said to Sumin that he was going to meet a friend. And it turns out that friend is Prosecutor Kwok. Prosecutor Kwok doesn't want to deal with someone like Hori. He also returned Hori's cell phone. Then Hori said that he only arranged everything so that Prosecutor Kwok could thwart the deal. Hearing that, Prosecutor Kwok became curious. Is it a drug deal? Hori acted a little hot because Prosecutor Kwok previously rejected him. Then Hori explained that CEO Kim would be at the crime scene. He will meet his supplier at the port. This is an opportunity to catch them. They were in their respective positions to ambush CEO Kim's gang. Prosecutor Kwok waited at the port while Hori waited in the car. Hori introduces Bayamin to Prosecutor Kwok as he will be the one monitoring their movements via his computer. Finally, CEO Kim and Mr. Song's people came to the location of the agreement. They had a bit of an argument because Mr. Song's people searched Hari's team. They also asked for Hari's team's cell phone. Hori complied and they left in Mr. Song's car. While traveling, Mr. Huang put a tracking device in the car, so Su Min and Bayamin could know their location. But Mr. Song changed the location to another place because he wanted to feel safe. Another day of following Mr. Song to keep the deal going. And Bayamin contacted Prosecutor Kwok that they changed the location of the agreement. Prosecutor Kwok left the port and it turned out that someone was monitoring and seeing him. Because of this, they changed the car, Hori and his team were traveling in and left the tracking device in the previous car. Sumin and Bayamin were confused because the tracking device didn't move. So, they can only rely on JEE, who follows on a motorbike. Finally, they arrived at a building. It turns out that CEO Kim and Mr. Song was already in the building. Then Mr. Song showed the bridge of his nose. He was the enemy of Hari's team, 
who shot Orion. What's next for Hori and his team? We are waiting for the continuation in episode 4. Thank you for watching until finished.